Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the channel for another episode of the Crazy Train of Frauditing. Sure is nice to have you all here. I appreciate you for coming back, and uh, I want to thank the approximately 80 new members I've gotten in the last few days. Um, I appreciate you all for joining up, and I hope you I can uh, keep you all entertained. So... Um, if you've got any ideas, please don't be afraid to give me a show. Let me know. It's actually worked out a couple times uh, when people have had suggestions. Uh, so I'm back today because <laughs> Mark Manchin, a.k.a. Press NH Now, just makes my job so easy. So uh, after seeing a video that he just put out very shortly, or very uh, recently, I should say, uh, he films some children in the middle of a crisis. And I just, what is this guy thinking? What is wrong with him that he would do something like that? I mean, I can understand filming the adults and filming the police and filming, you know, the perpetrator and stuff like that. Why he kind of film the children? You know, I wonder, I wonder if YouTube knows he did. I wonder if he clicked on that little button that said, uh, are there children in your video? Well, I guess we'll see, won't we? But in the meantime, um, I'm, I'm going to try and figure out how I can either block the children's faces or I'm just going to have to cut that part of the video so I don't film the children because I don't want to end up being a hypocrite and you know calling him out for filming the children and then showing the film with the children actually in it since... You know, they're not, they're victims. They're, they're not, you know, it's not their fault of what happened in that uh, police incident. So, you know, in this video, Mark is going to berate a woman um, who's actually trying to grab the children out of the house and put them in a car and take them away from the scene so they're not seeing everything that's going on. And, and you know, Mark being the manly man that he is, you know, he just... He's got a mouth off to the female, so and so and it's funny too because when she comes at him, he threatens to pepper spray her. All five foot six, hundred thirty pounds of her. He's scared of her. So you know, well, you you you're you're oh, such a hero, Mark. You know, you really protected my First Amendment rights by threatening that woman to pepper spray her. You know, just want to give you a little heads up, Mark. You need a little more than somebody just coming at you to pepper spray them. You might want to look up the law. So, hey, I can't believe um, the last three videos that I put out uh, have been so popular. Uh, well, popular for me, anyways, uh, according to my channel. Um, I'm not complaining, though. But I'm not saying anything against that. So, uh, But the one on Mark Manchin got like 2,100 views already. Um, the video on Cody High Roller has received 4,300 views. Must be a lot of people want to know what's going on with Cody High Roller. Um, and uh, I don't, uh, I don't know anywhere near as many subscribers as 4,300. So it's kind of interesting that that many people are coming to watch the video, but. They're not signing off, and I'm not really sure why that is, but we'll figure it out later. I mean, don't worry about it then, but, you know, for now, let's grab our popcorn, ladies and gentlemen, and get ready to ride that crazy train of frauditing. Looks like she's putting her kids in an unsafe predicament. Well, there was a call over here about a possible assault with a uh, with a knife. Donations are greatly appreciated to your PayPal and Cash App. Why aren't you just begging, Mark? Like a piece of crap that you are. You quit your day job. So that you could be a frauditor and live off of your earnings from e-begging your subscribers, didn't you, Mark? Hey, have, hey did, have you told your subscribers yet that they paid for Amber's tubal ligation reversal down there in Georgia? Or uh, 
Or are you keeping that a secret, Mark? And uh, involving a juvenile. This is my right to do so. Stop filming. No, you touch me and I'll spray you. Spray me with what? Mace. So get away from me. Just keep it going. Go. Stop filming. Go. No, Stop. I won't. If you touch me, you're going to get it. Yeah, okay. Head. Go ahead. What a man you are, Mark. <laughs> And I say that with the greatest amount of sarcasm that I can. Really? I mean, come on, dude. She's five foot six and 130 pounds at best. And you're threatening to pepper spray her? What the fuck are you doing, Mark? Are you a coward or something? A straight up coward. Jesus, Mark. Threatening to pepper spray a woman. How low can you go, Mark? <laughs> Maybe a domestic violence and simple assault charge? Where you attacked Amber? You remember that, Mark? Why did you attack Amber, Mark? Did she maybe feel make you, you feel like you were a child or something? You're gonna be a YouTube saw with your kids too now. Looks like she's putting her kids in an unsafe predicament. You have a right to free speech. It doesn't hurt my feelings, honey. Yeah, you're Oh, thanks. Is someone else's free speech okay with you, Mark? Oh, isn't that sweet? How about filming children? How about filming children from a crime scene? How about filming children in an episode? Hmm, I think YouTube is checking into that right now, Mark. We'll have to wait and see what they think. Okay, folks, I'm going to fast forward for a few minutes here, a couple, three minutes anyways. Uh, Mark actually does the right thing. He stays on the sidewalk and films the police from the other side of the road. Um, he's quiet. He doesn't say anything to the police. <laughs> That's just unbelievable. He doesn't say a word to him. Uh, but he does go across the street and he laughs uh, as the police are putting the woman into the car. And um, another female makes a comment about it. So I'll stop right about there so that you guys can hear that. And then we'll finish up the video. Huh. Jeez. this have to do with anything mark um the officers go on multiple calls and do multiple things and 
one time they have a very um, uncooperative subject that has to be tased and you're trying to put it into this video where they're being very, very, very nice to this female subject. I never said it was funny. And that's pretty much the end of the video, folks. Um, Mark, uh, from then on, he just films the police cars driving away and you know, says that the woman went to a hospital and puts up a picture of a, of, of a knife. You know, apparently she had used a knife during this dispute. So uh, we'll uh, end the video right here. I want to thank you all for stopping by. I want to thank all the new subscribers. There's like 80 or something. I don't know all your names, so I'll just thank you all in one shot. Um, and then I'll uh, make comments in the comment section as as you make comments yourselves. <laughs> so I, uh, I want to thank you all for stopping by. Thank you all for uh, subscribing, all 1,450 of you now. Hopefully we can push this channel and get up above 2,000 here in the next couple of weeks or so. I got a couple other videos that I plan on making. Um, people that just, you know, fucking around and finding out. And I apologize for my language. I know it does offend some of the uh, people on the channel, and I do not mean to do that. So please don't run away. Well, until next time, folks, y'all take care.